Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and I'm sure most of you have seen those online Pokemon Fusion Generator sites, where you pick two random Pokemon, it puts the head of one on the body of the other, changes their colors, and results in a lot of funny things. However, out there on the internet, there is some Pokemon sprite art that is far more artisanal. A while ago on Instagram, I discovered the account of Mammoth89, thanks to my friend Pokemon7, sharing a piece of their art on his Instagram story. Mammoth89 makes incredible Pokemon Fusion sprite art, a lot of times between Pokemon that you wouldn't even think could make a cool fusion, and then they make it a cool fusion. I asked Mammoth89 if they would be fine with me making a reaction video to their art, so that is what this is. I'm going to be going through all of their Pokemon fusions, giving my impressions on them. I'm sure I'm gonna like most of them. And you should make sure that you follow Mammoth89 on Instagram. The link to their account is in the description below. And of course, you should also subscribe to me. So let's get started. All right, so here is the first one, Ampharos and Empoleon. Now this one I think is pretty impressive because how do you mix a sheep with a bird without making it a kind of monstrosity? But what they did here was they basically, it, to me it looks like it's Ampharos with Empoleon's coloration and some of its attributes added on there. It's got bird feet, but overall it still looks like mostly an Ampharos face, and it's got wings, almost like shoulder pads, in, like over its arms. I think it looks really cool. So let's check out the next one. Oh, this is sick. Mamoswine? and Entei, that looks so cool. That looks like, it looks like a winter Entei instead that's like dialed up to nine on the terrifying meter. That is awesome. Oh, another Mamoswine one, Mamoswine and Regigigas. This one's insane. <laughs> there is so much going on with this one. I, I love the like yellow mask. It almost looks like, kind of like it's wearing some kind of skull mask. I don't know. It looks so cool. It looks like a wise, mountain troll that you must prove your worth to in order to receive the blessing of power or something. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. Archaeops and Sceptile, two Pokemon I love. Now an even more Raptor-like Archaeops with leaf powers. This is my favorite one so far. I know we've only seen four, but my God, that thing, this is, this is so dope. Groudon and Blastoise. Water and not water, hot earth. This looks really cool. This basically, like it, it looks like Groudon has a shell, but it's like the water has just become steam. Like this one is really cool. Uh, I, I'm a fan of this one. I love the blue splotches. Like instead of just like, is it all red? Is it all blue? Like the splotches I think is a really cool artistic technique. Also, one thing that I just want to admire about Mammoth89's work is that it appears most of this is just from scratch. Like, yes, it's, it's fusions of like the two original sprites. And so they, they take the color from that. But like, it's not like a, the, this thing's hands are not really the same. <laughs> like they, it looks like they had to like, you know, seriously modify like I mean I a couple things I can kind of tell like the far back hand is like the front hand rotated but most of it is just looks like it's totally from scratch this this would this is impressive Arbok and Umbreon this is pretty cool not one of my favorites so far but I do like it definitely it looks almost kind of like a mega Arbok honestly like if there was a mega Arbok and it looked like this it it wouldn't surprise me oh <laughs> <laughs> Mantine and Latios. This is what I was talking about, Pokemon that just like are very, seem very different fused together. This one, this one is, it's like, it's really creative, but it also looks pretty goofy. <laughs> I like it, I, I like it. It just kind of looks like, it looks like just a weird sea creature, honestly. Sea creatures are weird. Sea creatures are weird. So honestly, this looks like, almost looks like something that could actually exist. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Metagross and Mantine? This thing is a trip and a half. It looks like an angry metal Mantine firing off Cyclops robot sharks, mini sharks. And in addition to that, it's got, instead of just antennas, it's got holes where it looks like worms are coming out as antennas. This thing is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Very cool, but terrifying. 
I think my favorite part are like the Beldum sharks. Like the one at the front, uh, front bottom right. Like that looks, that that's that's really well done. That looks like, honestly, it could be like an enemy in like a video game, like an underwater level enemy or something like that. Looks really cool. What? Solgaleo and Arcus, they took two very celestial god looking Pokemon, put them together and made something that looks very much like a celestial god on some other kind of level. Well, my gosh. I love the sprinkling of like the, the space, like kind of stardust pattern, like all throughout, like on the body and the legs and like the face and the hair. Because on Solgaleo, it's just the face. Same as, uh, well, less true with Lunala, but with Solgaleo, it's just the face. And I think it's a really cool pattern. I wish it would have been more widespread on Solgaleo. So they did that with with this creature. Oh, I just noticed the, uh, I just noticed the, the description inspired by Helios, God of Sun. That is, this thing is cool. You know what it kind of makes me think of? Have you seen those memes recently about like angels in movies? Angels in the Bible and they're just like, rotating bands of eyes with just wings, you know, and like a glowing thing in the center. This kind of gives me like biblical angel vibes, you know, like clearly very holy and godly, but also terrifying. Whoa, this one is sick. <laughs> this one is so cool. This looks like the final boss in the shadow realm. Oh, wow. I love this one. Just Darkrai and Zekrom are uh, clearly work really well together as a fusion. And I, this is, this is probably my second favorite behind the Archaeops and uh, Sceptile one. Inspired by Erebus, Greek God of Darkness. Th this thing is so cool. Oh, whoa! Golduck and Moltres, let's make a water Moltres. That is awesome. I really like this one. Like it, it, it does genuinely like kind of look like it could be this, uh, like the the fourth legendary bird that's that's for the water type. Wow, very well done with this. I like this a lot. Oh my God. This is crazy. I, I'm, wow. So like Necrozma is already like, it just looks like your 3D printer had a serious malfunction and yet somehow ended up sentient. Eternatus looks like your 3D printer decided it wanted to kill you. This fusion looks like your 3D printer decided it wanted to kill you, kind of got messed up in the process, yet still ended up creating this faceless demon energy monster that really does look like the most effective one at killing you of the three images on the screen. Like, oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I like, like I don't wanna be its friend. I, I think if I saw it, I would probably feel the need that it needs to die because it's already killed 10,000 people or something like that but oh, I can't get over this one. Like just the decision to combine like Necrozma's general shape with the aesthetics of Eternatus, purple solid parts like connected by like glowing energy looks really cool. Oh, this one's cool. Kecleon and Flygon. I can like, this honestly just looks like a Kecleon evolution, which honestly it deserves. I think we should have a Kecleon evolution. As protein all the time, not just as the hidden ability. There you go, this is it. This is Kecklegon. Ha ha! Whoa. Whoa. You know how I said at the beginning, like some of the fusions are between two creatures that look like they could never work together. Somehow they fuse Kecleon and Rhyperior and make it look like a real thing. <laughs> You know, I, this doesn't look like a Pokemon, but I would, like if there was some other game with wacky creatures, this would work. It's a big rocky chameleon who drills. It's a big digging chameleon Godzilla thing. It works. Whoa. 
Oh, this one took me off guard. Its head is huge. <laughs> and just like crocodile's mask with like Tyrantrum's eyes. It's like, hello. <laughs> ah, just, oh boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this one almost even startled me. <laughs> oh, interesting! We have a bear, and a dinosaur, and we've got a barosaur. Honestly, if you removed the green part and made it like a different shade of brown or like a tan or something, this to me would look like, it could look like its own Pokemon. Uh, like, based on some like prehistoric mammal, like a giant sloth or something like that, if, you, if it wasn't green. Cause the green kinda, well maybe, I don't know, maybe it likes the grass, maybe it's a grass type, I don't know. This one's pretty cool, it, like I said, it looks wild, but also like it could be a Pokemon. What is happening here? <laughs> is this thing cute or is it terrifying? I can't tell, I like it. Like I would be, fr like this looks like my, my companion, you know? Like a cute yet fearsome looking dog dragon. I feel like, and I feel like there's some mythical creature that's kind of a mix of a dog and a bird and or dragon. Right, maybe, I don't know. It looks cool. Oh my gosh. This, this looks like another like boss in like some like shadow realm of some video game. Cause it, the aspects of Garatina make it look like shadowy and you know, dark, social world. But slacking makes it just looks like, like an ape, like a big lumbering, incredibly strong primate. And it, I think it works. It, it really works. It, it, it does just look like a demon lord primate. Oh, okay. This one's head is really sticking out far from its neck. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I mean, I, they took the two pretty Pokemon and put them together. I think it looks solid. <laughs> Another Metagross one where they just like, all right, here's the shape of the other one and we're just gonna turn it into a demonic robot. <laughs> like this looks like it, like, it looks like something a mad scientist would create. Whoa. I love this one. I I love this one. I, I've always liked Blaziken. I've always loved Blaziken. I think it's a fantastic Pokemon. And they basically just took the attributes of Pidgeot and made Blaziken more bird-like. So now it just looks like, if like Horus, you know, or like uh, Falcon or Eagle or Hawk-headed Egyptian God, like came to earth. Like this is what it looks like. This is, you remember Bird Jesus from Twitch Plays Pokemon? This is what Bird Jesus' final form is. Like this thing is dope. I think my favorite one so far is the Archaeops Sceptile and then it was the Dark Rise Ekrom. This is my third favorite. Honestly, might even pass up the, the Dark Rise Ekrom one. I love this one. Oh, this isn't a fusion. This is just Mega Torterra. My boy, Torterra getting some love. He deserves it. Torterra, great Pokemon. Hope we see, I mean, it's not gonna get a mega form if they do Sinnoh remakes in Gen 8, but if they do Sinnoh remakes in Gen 8, Gigantamax, Vamanos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all the other Metagross ones were, okay, the body shape of the other one with the aesthetics of the Metagross. Somehow they took the body shape of the Metagross and with the aesthetics of Shuckle. Shuckle took over a shell that was in the shape of a Metagross and just worms to the nine. <laughs> Look at all those limbs, the demon eyes coming out of the top. This one is, Insane. <laughs> what, another Shuckle one with Rayquaza this time? What? This looks like what happens if Shuckle outgrows its house. Give me another house. And another, and another. Still not enough, I am no longer caged by my Shelly Holmes. I am now God of the Sky. Wow, this one's crazy. I dig it. Another Sceptile one. Sceptile and Rampardos. I like it, I don't like it as much as the Archaeops one. Uh, but it does look cool. It, it makes it makes Rampardos look a little bit less ridiculous, you know? Like, I know Rampardos is based on Pachycephalosaurus, the dinosaur with the big, thick skull head, but they really took the skull and really did it. This one makes it a more reasonable size. Paris and Dawn fan? See, this is what I'm talking about. How do you, somehow you combine them 
and it looks really cool. It looks like some like really fearsome bug. Or is it still, or is it more of an elephant? Maybe it's, maybe it's still just more of an elephant, you know, with like just spotty armor. I don't know. I dig it. Oh, this is, this is fabulous. Glaceon and Suicune with Glaceon's pigtails or whatever, like as Suicune's like ribbons. This one looks, th these two work. This works well and looks great. Oh, Umbreon and Raikou. Raikou, still don't know. I love the clouds. I love the, they, they took Raikou's cape and made it just like supercharged with electricity and it looks really good. Honestly, this just looks like a, an electric dark type mega Raikou. I, it's really cool. Darkrai and Flareon. <laughs> it's a little baby Darkrai. He's angry. When he gets mad, he gets fire. <laughs> Whoa, Mewtwo and Infernape. Okay. Psychic combat. Is it, is it still a monkey? The face is more Mewtwo. It's more cat-like. I don't know. This looks cool. I, I dig it. Whoa. Empoleon and Articuno, that, that that looks pretty cool. I, I question how well it would be able to fly with those big beefy legs and its posture that's, you know, like a person, not like a bird, you know, but like, it looks really cool. Wow. This is just, this is a final boss in the metal dungeon or something. Look at those arms. Look at those just weaponized arms of sheer metal destruction. My God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another Rhyperior fusion with just the most unexpected. <laughs> it's just Rhyperior made of worm. <laughs> oh, it's kind of disturbing, but I fantastic at the same time the drill is is the drill pink or is the drill just nose <laughs> oh what what oh this one is something else that tongue it's drooling everywhere it's Nino King's body with a giant teethy face oh haunt my dreams why don't you ah Thin and nimble primate with buff and slow primate results in upright buff primate covered in fire. It kind of looks like a baboon or a mandrill. That looks, that looks pretty dope. I like it. It's the final boss of the fire temple or something. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. That, that, this one's pretty sick. I think I would have made the wings bigger or maybe it's not meant to fly. It kind of looks like it could fly though. But I, I love the like bird-like dragon just covered in armor. This one's dope. What? Oh, this is another crazy one. It's a gold clad Tyranitar with shadow arms and wings. If only we all had shadow arms slash wings. That'd be so convenient. You could fly with them, but also use them to grab things. That would be nice. And since they're shadow, they can go away at any time. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that. Venusaur and Firo? They made a pterodactyl! They made an honest to good leafy pterodactyl. Incredible. <laughs> oh, this one, how? How did they combine Kyogre and Zapdos and make it adorable? I think it's the big head. Like if the head was smaller, my brain would just like assume the scale is like, it's a big Thunderbird, basically, a blue and yellow Thunderbird. Channel colors, great. But because the head is so big, it looks like it's about the size of a parrot, <laughs> you know? Like it almost kind of looks like a really detailed base form. I would absolutely have this as like my main partner Pokemon. Cute, but also like really powerful, like a mythical, like a Marshadow, you know, where it's like cute but strong and it's blue and yellow, it's electric type. Very good. This is this is into my top five of all the ones we've looked at. Oh, oh, this one. It's making me deeply disturbed. Is that an eye on the shell back there? Oh, 
That's badass. That is cool. The Lugia body, but with the like Swamper like fins, like that works. That works well. Ah, another Groudon and Water Starter one. This one's pretty cool. It just looks like a very armored, like mud skipper type creature. I think it looks, I, I like it. What? What? <laughs> Ursaring and Ursaring Fusion? Here's just a grizzly bear. <laughs> a really angry grizzly bear. The third in the evolutionary stage, my gosh. <laughs> oh, interesting, Charizard and Ampharos. That one's pretty cool. I, lo I love, my favorite part is absolutely the tail, where it's like kind of like electric and fire coming off it at the same time. That's pretty dope. Ooh, ooh. This thing is so evil. <laughs> Look at it, looking at you with three eyes, and psychic powers and markings that remind me of that episode of Pokemon where the big giant Pokemon with markings on him. Oh boy, this thing will kill you. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Two serpentine dragon based Pokemon turned into an extremely terrifying serpentine dragon Pokemon. That is sick. Oh, whoa, that's awesome! Reshiram and Rapidash work so well together. It's the magical white Pegasus of fire. Yes, give us a Pegasus Pokemon, please. Garchomp and Luxray, okay. Kind of just looks like a more reptilian Luxray. Its face has now become very beak-like, which is interesting. <laughs> Arcanine and Leafeon. Here's a tiny dog covered in leaves. <laughs> it's cute. What is happening here? Why do the Nido King fusions end up with just giant mouths? Oh, this one's wild. That beak is so large. So large. Oh, God! <sighs> Why do the Amistar ones creep me out so much? This is a demon. Demon? Sea serpent, look at those, look at those made of tentacles. Oh, oh. Okay, that's cool. That looks like a, like that just looks like a master swordsman. That looks really cool. <laughs> oh, Gengar's smile with the Magmortar's lips. Uh. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> oh, whoa. Houndoom and Torterra. And the, the back is now just like this wasteland or haunted house or something. Like, is that like a broken building? There's skulls? That is really creative. It's essentially just the, the demon Torterra. What is happening here? <laughs> it's just a blobulous mass of mushroom stuff, just like vined into the ground? Wow. I mean, I can't tell if it's friendly or not. It's got the eyes peeking out, but those could be little friends. Let me know below if you if you, if you think it's friendly. Oh, cool! For alligator and uh, salamence. That one's pretty cool. Basically just makes salamence look more like a crocodile. Okay, this one is strange. <laughs> like, I like the idea of the like Metagross type body, but just it's like earthen instead of metal, you know? But the face is like, her, come here. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what? Dawnfan and Ninetales? This one is hilarious. <laughs> Just all, how do they carry it? <laughs> all that tire stuff. <laughs> this one's so funny. Okay, this one looks cool. Finally an Amistar fusion that doesn't just immediately terrify me. It looks like a really cool, like it looks like a giant squid with a shell, which is dope. That's cool. These Pokemon work well together. I am a fan of this. Somehow, somehow they made, yeah, it's it's spikier Garchomp is what it is. Spikier Garchomp with more fingers. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, I see, I see you, I see you. Warrior Lucario in armor, excellent, excellent. Oh, that's cool. Bastiodon in Agron. It looks makes Bastion look just more metal and armored, which I, I which I dig. Bastion Bastion is such a cool premise, but I've always thought it was a very goofy looking Pokemon. Taking Agron's very awesome design aesthetics definitely improves Bastion a lot. 
Whoa, Lapras and Typhlosion, this one's interesting. Look at all that volcano and steam. Make new islands. Okay, okay. We got the mammoth that's actually a mammoth. Mammoth swine is no longer mammoth swine. It's mammoth. 89. <laughs> oh, and that's the last one. Okay, but we went all the way through. Now we went all the way through. Uh, the Sceptile and Archaeops one, still my favorite. Just looks just looks so incredibly cool. I absolutely want it as a friend. Um, the Darkrai and Zekrom one, maybe my like third favorite. I think my second favorite has got to be, I think my second favorite is uh, Kyogre and Zapdos. Just looks like a fun little Thunderbird friend. There was another one. Oh, of course, it was Pidgeot and Blaziken. Okay, so my favorite is Archeops. Favorite is Archeops and Sceptile. And Pidgeot and Blaziken's my second favorite because that one was just, that one was just crazy. And then Kyogre and Zapdos is my third favorite. Darkrai and Zekrom is my fourth. And then if I had to pick a fifth, so I have like my top five, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the Pegasus, the Pegasus Rapidash, just cause I, we really need a Pegasus Pokemon and turning Rapidash into an even more like, like it looks like an angelic fire Pegasus is just very, very cool design decision. Thanks so much to Mammoth89 for letting me make this video. I had a ton of fun, they make great art. I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Make sure to go follow them on Instagram, linked in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. With an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon, who are helping support the channel independent of the fluctuating nature of YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support the channel in the same way, the link is in the description below. And if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all.